for sure if you're going to be able to see this. That bolt right there is actually almost sunk right into the control arm. Hello again YouTube. Today we're going to be doing a video on a 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. Uh, basically I was replacing all of the control arms uh, upper and lower both sides um, outer tie rod ends sway bar links uh, and sway bar bushings um, don't know what happened to the majority of the footage but I did concentrate on the driver side upper control arm which was basically one of the hardest ones in there uh, to get a good angle at so I figured uh, I'd put this together for you guys and kind of give you a little bit of a different take on how to get to that upper bolt that uh, there's actually quite a few videos on. We're going to be taking all this out. Alright, 21 millimeter. I'm going to need a little bit of extra strength. Hook it on the edge like this and then push down on it over try to get in here some more Let's see once you've got the bolt far enough you can actually turn it by hand just from above. And that bolts out. millimeter for this now this is going to want to fall it's going to want to damage your connectors here so I'm going to be sure to Hold this, tie this back. I'm gonna go grab something real quick to tie it with. Once well, you've got something to tie it with, in this case I just used a piece of rope. Go ahead and knock that ball joint back out. Back here. Got another little holder. And also take note that when I wrapped around this, I went around the coil spring and the upper control arm. I did not go around the ABS wire. I'm going to want that to just hang free so we don't snag it on anything. There, our wire is now down and free, so we're not going to damage anything. Now we can finish trying to get this control arm out. Now we've run into a tiny little problem. 
this one up here this one right here is so badly shredded that uh, the bushing is sliding on the sleeve the sleeve is coming out with the bolt instead of the bolt coming out of the sleeve so this one's going to get a little challenging especially considering we're about to go up against the inner fender right here what I'm going to do is I want to find something I can get in here with and I can bend this back out this way just enough to clear it and then I can push it back afterwards I'd rather not go channeling this out like I've seen in a couple of YouTube videos but if we have to we have to but I'm going to try to see if I can just push this back far enough to get that bolt to clear you know to tell you the truth I think I just found something else out I'm going to show you a different angle on this Remember how we looked down in here a few minutes ago? And we were able to see that bolt. Well, we pushed that fender forward just a little bit. We might be able to get on that bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the battery and the battery tray out and make myself all the room that I need. This one here is a 10 millimeter. It's just a brace. And this one over here. Back to this one. Get the brace out of the way. Put the bolts down with the brace. Normally I stuff them back in, but I don't want to get snagged on them. Breather. Okay, this one goes underneath the terminal, so we're going to have to disconnect the battery anyways. Alright, we've got both of the battery terminals out. wasn't even held down properly. We'll take care of that. And let's see if we can find the hold downs for this. One, two here. And one down here underneath. Let's see, those are probably 14 millimeters. seized when we put them back in. Pass them down here. Maybe with a swivel. Let's see how this goes. She's a crust. I don't know if this one's going to go so well. something a little different that's not working so anyway that's a oh, mistaken these were 13s not 14s this one down here is a 13 but it's really 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 rusty I'll grab some longer extensions let's see if we can do it this way
got some movement. I'm gonna spray some penetrating oil on the other side of it. If I can find it, I can find the other side of it. It's up inside the wheel well. Ah, great. Okay, well, we're gonna spray it with PV Blaster from this side. See how we do. Trading oil on it, went back and forth, back and forth. Too much extension for the impact. And we we win. We got it out. Now it's stuck in my socket. Now we still held down. Are you kidding me? There's two more. One right there, one right there. Underneath, behind the horns. Behind the horns! All right. well, one of the things that I wasn't really able to show you in this video is that if you take the, uh, the chrome piece off the front of the, the truck, it goes between the headlights, it's going to open up two spaces that are in the middle of the headlight to give you a direct shot in on the two bolts that are on the front of the bottom of the battery case or battery holder that are uh, otherwise pretty difficult to get at. I got the last bolts out, the nut off of here. Get this battery tray up. Now, we got a fairly clean shot straight in on that bolt. Over here, where you can see that, we got a much, much better shot at that bolt. Control arm out with the bolt stuck in it. Boy, those things are really, really chewed up. Now, I got the upper control arm out. Quite rusty up in there. And here's our brand new one. Got the bolts already kind of sitting in it. We're going to go ahead and put this up in here.
know how you and Eric and and Ivan and all the rest of you guys do this stuff, but trying to work around a camera definitely adds obstacles. All right, leave that just loose enough that that moves up and down, because we'll need to uh, set the, the pretension on that later. Now I'm going to go back up. I'm going to run that one back in. joint back up. Which actually I can't do now because of the rope. The rope is actually holding it tighter than what the original where the original one had it sitting. So rope probably wasn't the right wisest choice, but That's nice and snug. Now while we're in here, before we uh, lower this vehicle back down, we're going to be pulling out the uh, sway bar link on this side and replacing that. And then that will complete everything that we've replaced or needed to replace over on this side. Well, YouTube, this is going to be a little bit of a save face shot there's our uh, new control arm in vehicles been lowered all the bolts have been tightened and torqued down Got everything in here all of the new control arm is in the bushings are in the sway bar links are in in over on this side had a really 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 hard time with this one right here this is one of the reasons why I wasn't able to record everything it got dark I ended up having to do this all in the parking lot with the spotlight but this frame right here was bent and crushed up just enough that I really had a hard time getting the old one out and the new one in but it's all done headlight assemblies all back together again because remember, there's a hole right in here, and there's a hole right in here behind this fascia that allows access to that battery battery tray. And then from there, you can uh, get at those bolts a lot easier. So it's kind of a, a different way of doing it. Replace the upper control arm on the driver's side of the trailblazer. 
Zarya really wasn't able to film all the rest of it. But, well, there'll be more videos in the future, I'm quite sure. There you have it. The upper control arm, driver's side, 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. And this applies to Yukon uh, and, and any of the Blazers, GMC, Chevrolet. And if you guys felt that that uh, upper control arm solution or bolt or access was helpful, feel free to just subscribe, like, and comment. Don't forget, you got no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.